Hey guys, Dark Recycled FPV. I'm gonna do actual uh, repair on this. I'm gonna try, it's be the first one I do. But basically on this Vista, we've got a broken button. Let me show you what I'm working with here. So I've got a Vista down here and uh, the button, the bind button here is broken. I don't know how it snapped off because this is mine actually and I don't remember breaking it. But I uh, figured we'd go ahead and open it up and see what's going on with it, see if we can fix it, okay? So we go ahead and just uh, take all these out. <clears throat> I will also gently pull off the antenna. All right. There we go. Mm -hmm. Let me see if I can just. Yeah, all right. I'll just take these off. I think I have to take all of them. I just. Couldn't remember if I had to take all eight screws out or not, but let's just go ahead and do it anyway. I'll set those aside. Now that's there. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and disconnect cable here let me see on this side I guess there we go we'll set that side right here get the camera and that board set it aside <sighs> let's see now what we got we need to go ahead and pull off this top piece here and just understand that you've got some uh, thermal um, I guess it's thermal grease or whatever you want to call it uh, right here uh, and so what we're looking to do is we're looking to get to the bottom side of this right here so what I may do is put that top plate back on if I can separate this here I'm looking to hopefully be able to do that let me see what's delaying let me take this cable off so I'll snap it let's put the cable aside and I'm just going to kind of push the board away there we go just like that now I'm going to go ahead and put this plate back on because I do not uh, want to get that thermal uh, Paste, thermal paste, that's what it was, thermal paste on anything. All right, so what we're working with is we're working right here with this piece, all right? Now I'm going to go ahead and get the uh, magnifier here. I'm going to plug that in. And I'll share the computer screen with you guys. And we can all get a good look at what we're working with and see the best way to perhaps approach this and fix it, all right? Make sure my bench is clear. Okay. So let's open the magnifier up. And then I will share with you my screen. So you should see it coming up here in just a second. Hopefully it's not my ugly face. Oops, it is. So let's do that. There we go. Okay. And here is what we're working with, all right? So we have a broken switch. I'll stand it up and then focus. Again, I'm not really sure what happened to this switch, but either way it's toast right so let's go ahead and I'm gonna see if I can work on it while you guys are watching uh, under the microscope but if not then I'll just have to do it on the table first thing we're gonna do is we want to make sure to secure this somehow right um, safest way I'm gonna guess is to just use some tape so let me see if I can get some tape here and my scissors and let's see if we could kind of secure this as best as possible That should work. <sighs> All right. So I'm going to place this tape over so it holds it in place, just like that, and then wrap it around, just like that. There we go. Okay. Hopefully that should keep this just where we need it. Now I'm going to get my old man goggles, and I think that I'm going to need to change the tip on my soldering iron. Let me see, because this is going to be a little too thick for what I was, yeah, that's not going to work, so let me just, yeah, all right, so I'm going to turn the soldering iron off, bear with me a second, I'm just going to, while well, it's hot, so I've got to be careful here, but let me just take this tip off and place it on the concrete so it can not burn through everything on my desk, put this off. Give me one second, I'll have that camera back on for you guys. Let's get a fine tip right here. Okay. 
Okay. Two more seconds. Just gonna put the piece back on to screw it down. Try not to burn my digits at the same time. All right, there we go, and let's turn it back on. Now, while that heats up, let's look at what we're working with, okay? Put the tape away. There we go. All right, so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in and we're gonna take off these four right here and, base, and just remove the entire piece, okay? And at that point, I may re-solder wires in place of it. So I'm gonna wait to see what it looks like underneath. Again, I haven't done it yet. And, sorry, that is my wife texting me, so give me one second to see what we have going on here. Okay, all right, soldering iron's ready. Sorry guys, I had to answer that, I apologize. I know you can't see what I'm doing here. All right, so here, let's just go and see what we got here. All right, so I'm just going to put my tweezers on here. Let me go ahead and just get this tip cleaned up. See if I can heat this up enough without the heat gun. I do not want to use the heat gun here because there's too many other small components but if I cannot force this out by heating it up like this then I may have no choice all right tell you what heat gun it is so let me go ahead and turn that on I just have to be very very careful here to aim it only here and we're going to cook this as quickly as we can. And let's hope for the best. So I've got to be very careful. Especially since this is under the microscope. I don't really have much room here. So bear with me. I'm going to try to... There we go. Perfect. Okay, so we got the plate off. Now let's just see. We got the cover off on me. So let's see what we're going to... This button is most likely going to pop right off the minute I try to mess with it. So let me... We get some really, really fine point tweezers here. And I've bent the tips of these so that they can grab. But my guess is, is that this... I really wish people would give my cell phone a rest right now. Okay, so let's get that off as well. All right. So this is pretty much like an oversized... Uh, let me turn. This is going to ring again, guys. I apologize. Um, this is basically like an oversized buy button for like a free sky or something, okay? So now that we're down to this level, the one thing that we want to do is we want to test continuity and see what it is exactly because my guess is going to be that it's these two edges touching the center, right? So let's go ahead and do a continuity test and make sure that that's not the case. I mean, let's make sure that that is the case. So hopefully we do not have continuity here and here. Okay, so on there, there isn't. But on this side, we should. Excellent. This may be a ground. Yep. So what we're going to do, what we're looking to do is this button would basically hover here. And then when we press it, it would link these, it would bind these together. So what we're going to do is we're just going to create, um, I'm going to use, get some flux pen right here. Okay. And we've got to be very careful because we don't want to, now I was going to take the whole thing off, but this is actually pretty simple to get to. So we could do it this way and save ourselves a ton of hassle. What we're going to do now is we're just going to get two wires and make sure that we form. Uh, we're going to create our own little button, so to speak, right? So let me get two very fine, fine wires. Let me see if I can find them. I mean, like wires that would have come on, like let's say a uh, like a buzzer or something like that. Look at these right here. So these are super fine wires that are part of the Free Sky setup on their radio. So I'm actually going to borrow these. I'll just snip them, but you can find any wires. The finer, the better, only because of the fact that uh, 
we have a very small space here to work with. So I'm just gonna prep these up. And what I'm gonna do here is I'll get off of the microscope for a second and just share the table again so you can see as we're gonna prep these up, all right? So I'm just gonna use the flux pen and I'm going to get some solder. I have some extra solder sitting here, so let me just use this real quickly. All right, and I'm going to just tin these up and make sure that they are super clean because there's not much room here, all right? Now, I'm not worried about taking the end off just yet, but what I wanna do now is that also, now we will switch back just like that, we will tin this area. Now there's a good chance that this plastic will melt at this point, but I'm hoping I can work fast enough to avoid that. We did tin it up, so hopefully we've got the center now done and the plastic is melting. So it's gonna make it very difficult for me to, uh, most likely gonna just remove the plastic. Wonderful. All right, so my hope of being able to work on this with that plastic in place is gone. So we're gonna go ahead and heat this up again and remove what is left of this plastic. So bear with me a second here because this should just pretty much come off here fairly quickly, I'm hoping. This is all clean. All right. There's still pieces left, but hopefully we can just work with this. Let me just see. All right, I'm gonna clean that up. Let this cool down a little bit. To see too many other things flying off of here so let's just let it cool down make sure our lights as you can see everything's hot if i was to pull on any of this right now it would separate so we'll blow on it just a little bit to make sure it's cool let's get our flux pen okay and let's try to get this there we go. let's try to get rid of all pieces and this hopefully is back to normal now yep everything else is stuck okay so we're going to go back to applying our solder Again, with a very fine tip, we're going to drop solder right here. And we're going to drop solder, oh, I don't know, let's just say like right here, I guess. Now let me do a continuity test again. Get one top. Let me go ahead and drop a piece of solder like right down on that hurt. Right here. Okay. All right, let's do that. All right, now let's take this off. Let's go ahead and do that. All right. Now I'm going to take, we'll take the blue for being the common ground. So let me get my other tweezers here, which are somewhere in this vicinity. Here we go. And we'll take the blue. I'm going to see how I want to come at this. I will trim the tip of this solder off, of this wire off. Be very small. Right there, just like that. Okay. All right, there we go. Trim this one as well. There we go. Okay, so that should. Now I'm going to cut this end off of the wire, as you can see right here. Okay, I think you can see that. We'll cut this, this end off right here. And I'm going to strip them and make sure that there is no continuity between these two, which would say that my soldering is then clean. And then we can give this a shot. So bear with me a second. 
I don't mean to be taking up all the camera space here with my fat fingers, but fat fingers at 200 times magnification are like super fat. So I got super fat when doing that. All right, here it is. Let me just, there's one, and there's two. Okay, and as you can see now, if you can see that, I'm gonna try to get that on the camera. You can see that they're stripped here. Try to focus it just so you can see. All right, so there's the wire and there's the other one. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the tester to it and let's see if we have continuity or not. We hope that there is not, that was the main thing. Okay, so we are now officially touching both of them. There's not, but if I touch the ground, I should. Excellent. And if I touch this one with the ground, I should not. Excellent. All right, so that pretty much does it. Now we have to test and see if what we've done works. So we're gonna go ahead and undo the tape. Okay. Let's try to get this tape off of here. There we go. All right, let me put that back. Let's get back to the table view. Okay. Let's gently put everything back together properly. All right, so let's get this out of the way, get our flutter pin out of the way. Okay, so we will go ahead and put our ribbon on. This should go like this. Okay. Just like that. That should clear. Yep, that gives us the clearance that we needed. Okay. Perfect. And now, take our second spot here. Excellent. So it looks like everything is intact. And I will just put a couple of screws in here. Just hold everything in place a little bit. All right, but uh, one, let's put it this way. Two, I think that's good enough. All right, now I'll go ahead and throw the antenna on so I don't have to hear from anybody how I broke and committed the ultimate sin here. There we go. All right, now, to test this out, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our, we have a voltage uh, regulator right here, a converter, it's a step down. So we're gonna just go ahead and use this to power this up. I'm gonna plug it into our AC to DC converter, get my glasses. Actually, I'm gonna put my glasses on, but I need to solder this first. So I'm gonna solder these together. Okay, so let me make sure that connection goes well. Uh, let me find my tweezers again that I have now put down and have misplaced again. Well, I'll use these for now. No big deal. There's one. Two. I'm going to be careful not to let those touch. And then my tweezers are obviously under the wire, so great, didn't know that. My regular glass is on now, and let's see what we got. The main thing is we want to watch our lights because my light wasn't working. So let's go ahead and turn this on. We have a red light here. There we go. Now we have a green light. We've fixed the problem. And what we need to do now is we need to put these in bind mode because I have, I have goggles sitting right here. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to touch these two wires together as if I was pressing the button. And it's just going to be a brief touch, right? You don't have to hold it. You just have to, hopefully, hopefully, if this works, you make contact. Um, I guess I'll use the tweezers to try to make that happen because I'm not sure how else they would want me to do this. But let's just do that and turn this. And there we go. We're in red. It's fine. My goggles are now trying to bind. Perfect, we got green, we got green, and I can see video. So there you go. So ideally, if you do break your button, and, and I'll tell you exactly, um, whoops, let me do this. So what ended up happening was, uh, I don't know how the button broke. Like I said, I don't remember ever breaking it, but um, my light would only stay red then, and then it would disappear, as if the button was just being held nonstop. And so once we removed that button, we broke that connection so that it started working. You could see where it turned green, but we had to add the wires back so that we could at least rebind it. So now what I would do is I'd probably just leave these wires like they are, put some hot glue over that spot, even though this is going to get hot and the hot glue may not hold very well, but I would still put some hot glue on there just to protect that connection. And, um, and then just use some heat shrink and put it over the wire. So I would fold the wires and then put some heat shrink over them. You don't really need to use the bind button that much. But um, in this case, it would help you to just save these and then just tuck them away. I mean, there's, there should be no problem for you in the future, right? Guys, I hope that helps. Um, we've had a lot of Caddx repairs here and only because there's a lot being used and people are crashing and they're a pretty sensitive uh, product. But in other case, this does show you that it can be repaired and this is how to repair it. Um, if you have any questions, as always, you can, um, there you go, post them to our Facebook group right there. And we have a bunch of people there that would be more than happy to help you. Uh, and at the same time, guys, I would ask you, please, please, please show your support. No money, no nothing, just please subscribe and get the word out to other people. Um, we're a small shop here, okay? And uh, and it means a lot to my kids if I have more subscribers. It means a lot to me too, but my kids, you know, they're into all that stuff. Um, and uh, either way, God bless, be safe. And most of all, guys, make sure to spend time with your family like I'm gonna do with mine. It's a beautiful day outside. Get the most of it. You never know how much time you have left. You can always fly later. Talk to you soon, guys. God bless and be safe. Peace.